This video is going to explain to you the grade 6 toolbar on the Park end of year mathematics assessment. Notice this is a toolbar, not a calculator. Okay? So, you need to know what all of these buttons and their functions are. Clear all, undo, redo, backspace, plus sign, minus sign, time sign, division sign, fraction, mixed number, power, square root, equal, approximately equal. Then I have a whole series of drop downs. Notice I have numbers, comma, decimal point, constant pi. If I click it, it will go away or I can leave it open. I have my plus sign, minus sign, time sign, division sign, plus minus sign, negative sign, times dot, division slash, dollar sign, degree sign, percent sign. I'm going to close it. Exponents and roots. Power, square root, cube root, relations, equal, not equal, similar, not similar, less than, greater than, approximately equal, not approximately equal, less than or equal, greater than or equal, congruent, not congruent. Then I have geometry, ray, line, line segment, parallel, perpendicular, angle, angle measure, triangle, parallelogram, circle, and then groups parentheses, bracket, brace, and absolute value. I'm going to close it. In order to be successful on this toolbar, you must know what all of these mean and how to use them. Well, notice we have a problem that asks me about a rug and the area of square meters, and at the end, it, I need to know the width in meters of the rug. Now, notice there's a bolded word here that I'm going to highlight, and are only your fraction. So you need to know that we're putting a fraction in. Now, the answer is going to be 5 seconds, or 5 over 2. I could also turn that to a mixed number if I would like as well, both of which would be correct. But if I wanted to enter the fraction, it would be 5 over 2. If I wanted to enter the mixed number, I would have clicked on this and then entered my mixed number. That is how to operate the grade 6 toolbar, and it's not a calculator. Good luck!